Okay, all right. So hello, dear. So this is now the last part of bacterial ID when it comes to smear prep, no? So of course, after after you know from the material pana unstained, pagamag smear, and then to staining, and then finally to microscopic observation. Now our task as your bacter as medical technologists in the future, bacteriologists, is to report results. Now, how do we report uh, different results? Okay, so that's uh, the topic on this video and the last part also. So first, we'll talk about. Um, when you say direct microscopic examination from infected material, um, meaning katong gikan judain sa specimen, imong gi, uh, gi, sme, gi, gi gaman og smear and then gi stain, you have to identify first the cellular components and debris of inflammation na, na added to. So example, na, mga number of neutrophils, number of uh, other cells na na-involve, na, na okay? Um, next, we also have to identify the specific infectious agents. Um, of course, through appropriate culture sa bacteriology and mga immunological um, tests in your serology na department, okay? And um, we have to confirm that uh, that the material submitted is representative of the site of the infection, okay? Because we want to make sure na as much as possible ma isolate yun ang pathogen na nag cause disease. We don't want to isolate bisag unsara because again, walay pulos atung pag culture and all. If wala takabalo kung unsa ang pathogen na nag cause disease, okay? And of course, um, you confirm also or refute the physician's clinical. Um, impressions. Usually, daw sa gawas, if you work as a med tech, your, the doctors would usually rely on you or magpa explain na sila sa mong results sa laboratory. Because again, ikaw ang nakabalo kung unsay mga ngano in ani, ngano in ana. So, mag, magpa support na sila. Alright? Pero this, sa ato, sa, sa Philippines, usually ang mga doctors pa ang magpa statug blood culture. O ba? As if mo, yes, sana instant. Tumubo ka bacteria, charot lang, joke. Uh, but yeah, so we have, we can, we can confirm or refute the physician's uh, clinical impressions based again on the results of our culture, okay? All right, but again, that would depend na if a physician willing rapport. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. My God, these allergies. Okay, allergy. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, allergic rhinitis. Okay, anyway. Sorry, sorry. Okay, all right. Okay. So again, that's for direct microscopic exa examination from infected material, meaning katujong gikan sa ato ang specimen. Okay? All right. Now, for procedure, we first evaluate the content of the slide under LPO. Okay? Kasi since under LPO, makita na ni Modaan ang mga cells na naa, not only the bacteria, but also the mga WBCs and, and other cells na naa sa specimen. Look for evidence of contamination, example, by normal resident microbial flora or um, unexpected structures, example, na mga daghang squamous epithelial cells, samot na ifgikan sa mouth or sa throat or other. So, meaning it's highly contaminated. Kay example, sa ibang mouth, daghang kayong squamous epithelial cells. So, therefore, contaminated siya from the mouth. Okay? Inana. And next, search for microorganisms using oil immersion objective. Dili ka kita og bacteria under LPO, guys. Ha? Mugamit yung tag OIO. Okay? And of course, we evaluate ta, the gram reaction, iyahang mga characteristics, iyahang uh, morphologies and arrangements. Okay. All right. So we now go to, uh, again, look for evidence of purulence. When you say purulence, kanang daghan kaayo ang, like, murag, in a way, di po siya nana, nagnana, pero na ay um, evidence of infection, meaning daghan kayong mga PMNs, polymorphonuclear uh, cells, like mga white blood cells, neutrophils, inana. Okay. And under acute inflammation, usually you can see RBCs or, again, PMNs, uh, polymorphonuclear. Ayan. Po polymorphonuclear PMNs. Usually, these are your uh, neutrophils or uh, monocytes. Okay? Okay. Alright. And RBCs. Acute inflammation meaning ongoing inflammation. And you have chronic mononuclear such as, again, lymphocytes, monocytes, and macrophages. Chronic na because... Um, I sorry, the PMNs guys usually neutrophils na siya. So usually neutrophils mga good indicative of acute inflammation. And for mga monocytes lymphocytes, chronic meaning kasi na padayon. So usually ang mo take over na sa uh, infection or mga cells or katulad mga lymphocytes for long term immunity na monocytes and macrophages. Okay, all right. Now um, we now go to the reporting of results. For direct smears, again, gikan sa specimen mismo, you examine the slide for cells. Again, WBCs, RBCs, epithelial cells, PMNs. And then f next, you examine the slide for microorganisms. Again, we will note the gram reaction, positive, negative. Iyah mga arrangements. O giyaha morphology. Is it a bacillus? Is it a cocos? Is it a coco bacilli? Is it a spirochete? Inana. And iyah mga arrangement. Is it appearing singly? Are they in clusters? Are they um, 
in chains, okay, inana, all right? And if bacterial spores are present, indicate cellular location because there are different spore locations, na terminal, central, and subterminal. Okay, we'll go to that later. And next, you have quantitative organisms, of course, imulantawon, and quantitative cells. Okay. And for indirect smears, usually we don't do quantitation because when indirect smears, mangod, if indirect na meaning napatubo na siya sa culture media, we don't see any more other cells like WBCs or RBCs. Ang ato makita lang dito are the bacteria itself or or the yeah, bacteria mismo. So what we report na lang is your gram reaction and of course, iha morphologies and shape. Okay? All right. Okay, now we go now to morphology and arrangement. For morphology, again, it could be sphere-shaped, cocci or cocos, rod-shaped, bacillus. Do not be confused with a genus na bacillus put. Um, when we say morphology, bacilli, elongated sila, rod-shaped, okay? Rod-shaped or elongated, bacilli. But there's also a genus na bacillus. And so, sir, ang bacillus? Cocci or bacilli? Girl, wag na mag -isip. It's bacilli. <laughs> it's a bacilli. Nasa nga landaan, bacillus. So, uh, but to describe... Um, a rod-shaped organism, it's a bacilli, okay, or bacillus. But there's also a genus na bacillus, okay? So do not be confused, ha? Okay, all right. And spirochete, a spiral organism. An arrangement, separate cells appearing singly, like sirangusa, loner, or like single, like me, char, okay? Appearing singly, two cells in pairs, usually diplo, okay? Four cells in tetrads, eight cells in sarsini, sarsini. And you have chains, strepto, okay? And of course, clusters, staphylo, okay? So you've, you were discussed now of strepto and staphylo. When you say strepto, they are in chains. And clusters like grape, di ba? Muna staphylo, okay? meaning it, it means grapes, meaning they're in clusters, staphylo. Okay, all right. Two cells, diplo. A very good example, should I give? Very good example of a diplococci, meaning pairs, gina sila. Uh, you have your Neisseria uh, and gonorrhea. Usually. Um, and also, I think, yeah, Neisseria species, they're in diplococci, like pairs as la. Doha ka buo, cute ka ayo. Like, they, they stick together, nana. Okay. Oh my gosh, it sounds, that looks wrong. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so again, diplococci, tapad sila, doha ka cells. Okay, all right. So please take note of these um, uh, uh, terms, ha? So usually, mo report, ha? Uh, Gram-positive cocci appearing singly, gram-positive bacilli in chains, Gram positive, gram negative cocci uh, in pairs or gram negative diplococci in ana. So that's how we report it. Okay? Alright, so again, these are the different, um, uh, again, morphology and arrangements. For example, cocci in cluster, which could be Staphylococcus, cocci in sarsini and tetrads, other species of uh, cocci bacteria. Bacilli appear in singly, usually mga enterics ni mo. Bacilli in chains, mga streptobacilli, yes, in ana. Um, uh, this one, palisades, meaning palisades, nagtapad-tapad sila. Okay? Nagta Maras lang mga um, hot dog, char. Okay? <laughs> nagtapad sila, tapad, palisades. Usually, makita niyo siya, cigar packet. Kinsa ni cigar packet? I think M. lepre gapon. M. lepre. Okay. And you have what you call your um, mga budding, uh, this one, club, club rod, corine bacteria. Um, when you say corine forms, usually mga Chinese letters, like, Nagbad sila mga ana, alright? You have your comma shaped also, uh, vibrio, di ba pa ana? Marasag, banga kung drawing guys, sorry. But please take note of this na, okay? Alright, so again, how we describe their morphology and arrangement? Example, coxa in cluster, coxa in sarsini, ana. Alright? Okay. And for endospore, cellular location, again, please take note, di ba? Two species lang, uh, medically important bacteria that produce spores are BC, Bacillus and Clostridium. Sige sila produce spores, kaya na BC sila. So we have three locations. One, this is terminal, of course, nasa tunga. Ah, central, day, sorry. Central. Next, you have terminal, nasa pinaka-end. Alright? And subterminal. Okay. A very good example of kani, guys, terminal spore is Clostridium tetani. The causative agent of your tetanus. Muna siyang, your C. tetani is known as um, your drumstick appearance. Okay, or tennis racket. Ayan. Because look at this appearance. Diba, marasyag drumstick, marapun siyag tennis racket appearance. Ang C, tetany. Well, your other clostridium species, it could be either subterminal or central. Okay? And other bacillus species po. So, ako nang gi-highlight ni. C, tetany. Uh, terminal spores. Okay? Uh, terminal swollen spores. Ayan, diba? Dako kayo siya ng pagka-spore. Marasyag tennis racket, pwede po siyang drumstick appearance. Okay? All right. Or mara po siyang tackhead. Muna, siya, muna ang C. tetany is also known as your tackhead bacillus. Kaya mara siyang tamtax, di ba? Tackhead bacillus. Di ba? Tackhead bacillus. Clostridium tetany. Okay. Causative agent of your tetanus. Alright. 
Okay, and for quantitation of uh, microorganisms, usually, if wala dyan makitaan, non-seen, rare, 1 plus, less than 10, ang identified, few, 2 plus, 3 to 5 per OIF, uh, moderate, 3 plus, 6 to 10, and many, 4 plus, 10 to 20. Now again, ang ilahang pag-reporting guys, reporting of results usually, mo depend na siya on the institution or on the hospital. Okay, but theoretically kani siya, um, this is an average, meaning pag lantaw ni mo sa whole smear ni mo, ma-average ma ni mo na, estimate ka na, ah, there, there's about 3 to 5 na organisms per OIF. So, mo siya report as few or 2 plus. Yan na, na. Okay? Alright. And for quantitation of cells, again, non non seen uh, less than 2 per LPF. LPF ta sa cells, kaya makita na siya sa LPF. Per, for microorganisms or bacteria sa OIO ta, or OIF, because di siya makita under LPO. So, again, less than 2, 1 plus ra, 2 to 10, 10 to 25, and greater than equal to 25. LPF, many na siya. Again, the different meaning of many in ANA 4 plus, depende na siya sa lab, okay? Um, but theoretical, muni siya ato ang i-follow, okay? Alright. And for gram stain, example, this one. Yan, so as you can see, this is from a direct material, di ba? Kay, na yung mga epithelial cells. So if yung muna siya i-quantitate, usually that's about 4 plus. Kaya daghan ka siya in one um, OIF, ang kagaw. Whereas kani, this is Still from a direct um, smear, as you can see, these are white blood cells and these are coxi, uh, streptococcus, I think, yeah. Uh, coxi ni siya, gram positive, so could be, pila mani, mga few, uh, very, uh, few many Japan. So again, it would depend on you, subjective na siya. But you don't focus only on one area of the smear. As you can, as much as possible, if your smear is mga circle, at least mas kan mani mo natanan, okay? Para you have a good grasp of your specimen, okay? All right. So, yes, yeah, so that's the end of our um, smear preparation, which is under bacterial ID. As you can, as I mentioned again, smear prep usually when I first parts at bacterial ID, di ba? Uh, and then we'll completely solidify or fortify na yun ato ang pag-identify sa bacteria when we now go to biochemical testing. Maka-speciate na yun ta, maka ta sa genus. Okay, so that's later on. Medyo daghan buto siya. Dagan kang iyaw ato na part, okay? But I do hope that this topic is quite clear, okay? So um, we still have other topics when you go to activities on determining motility of the bacteria and also acid fast staining. So, all right, I, I'll see you on our next lecture. Thank you for watching and listening. I do hope you learned something. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to chat or PM lang, okay? So have a great, great day, guys. No, keep safe and drink your water always. <laughs> all right.